Yo, what's going on guys, it's Mage here, and we're on vlog 8 out of 100, and we have 92 left to go. So before I talk about what I want to talk about, I just want to apologize for the fact that I look like shit. I feel like shit because I stayed up all night programming, and I got about 2 hours of sleep, and that was during the day, during my break. I figured I'd just go take a nap real quick, get up, and then go do my vlog, and here I am a few hours later after class is over, and I'm just so out of it right now so let's talk about that flight from hawaii back to new york and then down to florida last summer or towards the end of last summer uh i went on a vacation to hawaii i'm not much of a tropical guy to begin with personally i prefer areas in the north i like really snowy areas and stuff like that i don't really like tropical getaways but this was for some family matters and also to go and see what hawaii is like for me, not liking tropical areas that much, I actually enjoyed it. The biggest thing that I really hated about that trip was the flight to get there and the flight to get back home. It was ridiculous. So the flight itself wasn't like one straight trip. It was like we stopped in Kansas, I believe it was, and then we headed back up to New York. And oh my gosh, that was just ridiculous. So we departed from Hawaii like later on in the evening and so as we're going back it's nighttime already in the other parts of the states so we're flying back. The entirety of that flight was just insane. It was close to around 10 hours of flight and I was just like oh my gosh I just want to get off this plane. I mean I don't hate planes it's just 10 hours just sitting there I'm just like no man I just I need to stretch out I need to like lay down or something it was just like it, it was terrible seriously I was back when I had my iPhone 6s and I relied on using my iPhone 6s to entertain me I watched anime for about four hours straight during that trip like four whole hours on the plane just watching anime because there's nothing else for me to do I try to get some sleep because after I let I would land in New York I would have to head back out to go and get my flight for Florida after but yeah I tried to get some sleep and it just wasn't happening I just couldn't sleep at all for some reason literally everybody else around me was asleep except for me I'm just sitting there on my phone since I figured everybody was asleep I was like hmm why don't I take out my notepad and start drawing so I was drawing for about an, another hour almost I had to go through my phone's battery, my DS's battery, and then I went through drawing for a little bit, and then I was doing some card moves, and that was basically that. I like traveling to distant places, but I don't like traveling to distant places, if that makes any sense. I like to go there, but I don't like the process of going there. So now I land in New York, and I have not slept in over 24 hours at this point. So I'm like so out of it. So now I'm getting prepared to go get my flight to Florida. And I literally only had about two and a half hours left to prepare to go. I was like, damn, I don't even think I can like take a nap because if I go, I'm not even gonna get any sleep. So that was that. I just packed and then I got ready and then I left for the airport again to go and head out to Florida. And everything else went smoothly, you go through security, you sit down or whatever, and blah blah blah, you wait for your plane to depart and whatnot. So I'm sitting on the plane, right, and I'm so tired that I didn't realize I actually took the lady's seatbelt from her and plugged it into mine. I didn't, I was, I was so tired. And the worst part about it is not once did I even realize I was pulling the wrong thing since I pulled it from like two seats over. I was just like, oh my gosh. So meanwhile, me, I have my headphones in and I'm trying to stay awake on the plane and I'm watching uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and just, the lady's just like tapping me. She has to tap me for a good minute too before I even like respond. And she's like, um, you, you have my seatbelt. I was like, what do you mean I have your seatbelt? And she, you know, she's like, I was like, I'm like, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to take your seatbelt and I'm just so out of it right now. I was sitting on my seatbelt the whole time and I'm using hers. But yeah, that flight was about two and a half hours down to Florida. I mean, I'm glad that there was no other awkwardness between me and the lady next to me after that. I didn't even say a single word to her. Unless you count that as awkward as well, then...
that probably gave me more anxiety. But yeah, I land in Florida and I'm I'm waiting for my girlfriend to come pick me up and I have no idea how the heck this airport is situated. I am in New York and the last time I w I've been on a plane was over a decade ago. And obviously I know I'm in the airport, but like I don't know where in the airport I am. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm like, yo, where the hell do I go? Where are you? And I'm like trying to call her and shit. And so I called her and I was just looking around for her and I finally found her. But she didn't see me, so I literally just walked all the way around. Like, I walked all the way around the food court just to go and surprise her, basically. And that was that. So anyways, we get back to her place, and I unpack my stuff, put my suitcase down or whatever, and I just go and lay down in her bed, and I'm just like, oh man, I haven't been in a bed in, like, days. I can't believe this is real right now. And I was just laying there, and I, like, knocked out from, like, 6 to like 12 and the worst part about it is I woke up I went to go get some water and I got some snacks and this was around like 12 and then after that I went straight back to bed and I slept from like 12 30 I guess you could say all the way up to 11 a.m. I was just completely out of it I that sleep was so refreshing but yeah that was a pretty weird experience traveling by myself and traveling on a plane for the first time in a while as well, but traveling by myself is a weird experience. I like flying, I just don't like long flights, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but meh. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.